Hello everyone. This is a uh, Panther from Gaming Art Craft. Um, I'm here to talk about health medical kits and health levels um, in this tutorial. Um, so um, I'm going to be discussing um, how to create a, a health level and medical kit in this tutorial. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Press likes and comments down below. And stay tuned okay so here we go so what we have here is um, gray FPS gray armor tactic is one of the games that I created it's on HIO you know go check it out on HIO play it um, it's a very interesting game if you like it let me know and uh, you know it's great um, I have more games coming down in the future um, on copper cube 6.5.1 um, stay tuned, you know, jump into the Facebook group of Copper Cube, learn Copper Cube or Copper Cube 3D game engine and join the Discord group as well. So here we go. Um, right here we have a health. Uh, it's a 2D overlay. Uh, uh, let me uh, move this over so you can see it more. So um, we have a 2D overlay. Of, of a health right here which is I made myself um, on the 2d overlay what what do you do is uh, you know if you want to have your health level show the number value you could use the 2d overlay to create the the value of your health and when it's a game AI of a character you know the game AI of a character is standard 100 health levels so for it to appear on your game or your screen you create a 2d overlay which is this right here okay and in the 2d overlay properties and attribute which is here these are the setups that you use you select draw text and then in text which is in the in text Usually what you put is health colon dollar sign pound health dollar sign. But I'm using my character, so I'm naming it off of my character, which is health colon dollar sign pound sniper dot health dollar sign. So that's going to be the name of my health value that I'm going to be using for my character. It'll show up here, but when it starts, it would give the 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 value level of the health which is 100 okay now there's two things that I want my health level to do which is I wanted to show the numeration level the number the numerical the number level of the health and then I wanted to show the health bar so there's two different health bars that you can use um, which is you can find on Discord or in the Copper Cube um, form or um, or anywhere on a, a, a check into just in case um, glitch velocity page. Um, you can find it there. Um, so with my character, which is FPS character, um, I'm going to be using the vertical status bar which is going to be a, like a bar that's going to show up here. It's like a green little bar. So in the 2D overlay, I put every few seconds do something. And interval milliseconds is 10. Actions is change 2D overlay text. Change with overlay, which is the name is health text, is this health colon dollar sign pound sniper dot health dollar sign. So that's going to be on the setup for every few seconds to do something. Then I'm going to use the behavior, which you go into screen behaviors and you select the vertical status bar and everything. And then in this vertical status bar, you put the copper cube variable, which is pound sniper dot health. It's going to be a solid green color. Uh, these are my margins of uh, relatives mergence that I'm going to set it up as and uh, you're going to see that health bar on that gaming screen so when 
when I play the game, you're going to see a hundred value health here, and then you're going to see the status level of the health. So every time the enemy or the villain they attack that player, you're going to see those numbers decreasing here, and you're going to see the health bar decreasing here. Okay, so that's the tutorial on health and everything. Now let's speak about um, health kits, medical kits, package, um, whatever you want to call it, health medical kits. So when when you're fighting off a villain, your health levels go down and they decrease. So sometimes you need like a health medical kit in order for your player to increase their health levels. So I created two health medical kits. I have one here. It's called um, Sci-Fi Crate. Um, it go by numbers because I created multiple ones. And I have another one. This is going to go as in a, a 20 behavior. So what you see here is that the when the health level go down for that character, they need to pick up more health so it can increase so they won't die. Because once they die, either they fall out or the game just ends and everything. And that's how the way games go. Um, so on this this object here, which is going to be a health medical kit, um, I placed it on the floor. You're going to put on proximity, do something. So on proximity, do something. You're going to put test area spear. Distance is going to be 25. What to near to what? A scene knob. Near to which scene knob? Which is going to be the sniper. That's the name of the character. Sniper. Okay. So trigger when enter radius. Actions. So in my actions, how the way I have this set up for my medical kit is set or change a variable. So when you click on set and change a variable, you're going to put the variable name, which is the one I'm using, is going to be pound sniper dot health. Operations is going to be add plus. Value type is going to be value. And I have this health as picking up as 20. So no matter if the, the character health is decreasing, I'm adding 20 health into the, the character so it can have more time so it won't die. Then I have the second health, which I'm going to scroll over to it, which is this one right here. This one, I have this health going as sci-fi generator. That's the name of it. Um, sci-fi generator. I have this health, which is the same on proximity. Do something test area spear distance 25 near to what a scene knob near to which scene knob sniper trigger when into radius and then on actions you're going to have set or change a variable and then it's going to be the same but and the value is going to be 10 and then it's going to hide so when the character comes towards the the medical health kit it disappears so when he comes near it it's like he's picking it up or he's getting more power so when he comes near it the health medical kit is going to disappear and it's going to make a sound like he picked it up so but and then when that happened it increased the level of health levels here in the 2d overlay and it increased that bar that vertical status bar that you're going to see on the right hand side so let's give it a test so y'all can see for yourself examine it and then you can use it for your games in the future and make more projects for copper q 6.5.1few it's uh publishing in the test right now okay so make sure you download itch go to itch.io 
and download FPS Great Armor Tactics, guys. It's an awesome game. You'll love it. Um, put your comments into into the website and let me know what you think about the game. If uh, if you like it or you don't. All right. So here's my uh, FPS character. Of this is a whole room built in room map, and then the health medical kits are on the floor. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna attack a, a enemy. And he's going to go ahead and attack me, decrease my power, and then I'm going to pick up the health medical kits so I can increase the power that I have. There we go. So I had two enemies attack me, which decreased my power to 40. And then you see in the vertical status bar that decreased in the vertical status bar. I have a lot of health packages around. I walk up to one, it brought it up. I walked into two, which was which my health level was was decreased to 40. It increased it to 80. If I pick up another one, it makes it 100. So now I'm back at 100 health. I can go back and fight some more monsters. And let's go. We have one for 10. I can go ahead and pick that one up. It makes it 110. And I have the SM animated bar for the character. So they can, I can see if their power decrease. I can see if their power decrease when I shoot at them. You see, and you got like, they give me a little slice on the screen. That's like, they slice me when they're attacking me. So I'm back at 90 and I can go back and pick up another one, a one for 10 and it makes it a hundred. And that's how you set up your health levels and your health medical kicks. Thank you guys for being part of Gaming Art Craft. This is Panther. Press likes and subscribes in the channel. Um, and um, be in tune for more tutorials uh, for Gaming Art Craft. Thank you.